already. And today, I'm having a fun day out. I'm at a water park. Have you been to a water park? I love them. Playing in the different pools, splashing around, getting wet. Remember, you must never play near water without an adult. Slides are my favourite. But I love really big slides like those ones. Do you know how a water slide works? Can you see all that water coming down the slide? The water helps to move you down and it also makes you go faster and stops you getting stuck. But where does all that water come from and where does it go? Let's find out. How does it work? A water slide. When you go on a water slide, the first thing you need to do is climb to the top. Now this is the top of the slide. And can you see there's lots of water running down it? This is what's going to help me slide down. First, I need to sit down like this. All I need to do is push off. But first, I'm going to put my special camera on my head so you can see exactly what it looks like as I go down the slide. So you ready? The water is going really fast and taking me with it. My special camera is waterproof. <laughs> that was so much fun. Did you see how the water was carrying me down the slide? The water is always flowing downwards and when you go on a slide, you go down too. And that's because of something called gravity. Gravity is what makes things fall to the ground. It's what keeps us and everything around us firmly on the ground instead of floating around in the air. Things like this ball. What do you think will happen when I let go of this ball? Will it go up or will it go down? What do you think? Let's go. The ball fell down and that's because of gravity. But if gravity pulls things down, how does the water get to the top of the slide? To find out, I need to get dry. Come with me, I've got something exciting to show you. Right now, we are underneath the swimming pool. Not very many people get to come down here. It's called the pump room and it's full of pipes and machines called pumps. A pump is a machine that moves liquids like water from one place to another through pipes like these all around me. These pumps are working all the time to pump water to all those slides around the park. And this is how a water pump works. Underneath the pool is a tank called the sump. The water is sucked up from the sump and into a big pipe. It's a bit like sucking a drink with a straw. The water travels along the pipe to a big spinning wheel. The wheel spins the water around very fast and pushes it up another pipe. The water is pushed up and up until it reaches the top of the slide. Now, gravity makes it fall down the slide and when it gets to the end, it whooshes into the swimming pool. At the side of the swimming pool is a hole called an inlet. Some of the water goes into the hole so that the pool doesn't overflow. It's a bit like the hole on the side of your bathtub. This water goes through a filter which cleans it and then along the last pipe into the sump where it's ready to be used again. How interesting is that? So this pipe here is the one that sucks the water up from the sump, which is just behind this wall. And inside this blue bit of machinery is the spinning wheel, which whizzes the water around really fast and pushes it up to the top of the water slide. It looks a bit like a blue snail, doesn't it? Let's see what happens when Mike turns the pump on. Ooh, listen to the sound of the pump. 
wait a minute, there's another stage. Oh, that's the sound of the spinning wheel whizzing round and round and all that water being pushed up to the top of the slide. Can you hear? Being underneath the swimming pool was so exciting. I loved seeing all of that water rushing out of the slide too. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember the name of the machine that sends water around the water park? That's right, it's the pump. Did you hear the sound of the big spinning wheel inside the pump made? And did you see how the water flowed down the slide when I was on it? <laughs> so the next time you go on a water slide, you'll know just how it works. There are lots of different places you can go to on a fun day out, but there's always one thing I like to have as a special treat. Do you know what it is? It's ice cream. Hello. Hiya. Can I have a strawberry ice cream with sprinkles, please? Sure. Thanks. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, a treat. What's your favourite ice cream? Mine is strawberry. But do you know what this bit's called? This is the ice cream cone and it's a really clever shape because it holds the ice cream whilst you're eating it and then you can eat the cone afterwards. <laughs> but do you know how an ice cream cone is made? Let's find out. How is it made? An ice cream cone. An ice cream cone gets made here in a huge ice cream cone factory. The ingredients that make up the ice cream cones have to be carefully weighed. This big machine is called a mixer. Ice cold water and sugar are put inside and mixed together <laughs> until the sugar completely dissolves. Wow! Oh, it smells so sweet. It smells a bit like popcorn. Now the other ingredients are being added and the main ones are vegetable oil, which your family might use to cook with at home, and flour, just like you used to make a cake, but flour can get a little bit messy. In it goes. Ooh, there's flour absolutely everywhere. Next, it's time for the vegetable oil. Here it comes. like the inside of a volcano. In the middle of the mixer, there's a metal arm that's spinning round and round. Let's get a closer look with my special camera. The mixer is getting lovely and smooth, and the metal arm makes sure that it's light and has lots of air in it. When the mixing is finished, it's poured into another container. <laughs> the finished mixture is called batter, and it's just like the batter you use to make pancakes. Look at the way it's just splatting into this big tank. And now we're off to the cone making machine. Batter has been hooked up to the machine and we're ready to go. The batter is pushed along this blue pipe and into this metal moving arm. And at the end is a nozzle, which squirts out five blobs of batter onto this hot moving plate. The five blobs of batter look a little bit like a flower at the beginning. The moving hot plate is really special because it's got lots of little squares cut into it and that's what gives the ice cream cones that criss-cross pattern and it's called a waffle pattern. Now, what 
Watch how a lid closes down on each blob of batter and squashes it into a pancake shape. It's ready to be cooked. And that happens in here. The moving plate loops around this hot oven, giving each circle of batter a quick bake. And here are the cooked circles. They look like pancakes, don't they? At the moment, the pancakes are still warm, so they're bendy. But the moment they start to cool down, they start to go hard. So this machine has to twist them into their cone shape really quickly. Otherwise, they'll cool down and it will be too late. The pancakes are twisted into shape and they pop out of a chute at the end of the machine. Now the cones are being pushed onto this conveyor belt so they can cool down and eventually be put into packets at the other end. And here is a finished ice cream cone. It looks great, doesn't it? And look, you can even see that lovely waffle pattern. All that's missing is some ice cream. cones are made extra special by decorating them. There are lots of different types of ice cream cones. Some are dipped in chocolate and covered in sherbet. Some are covered in sprinkles. And now they're ready to eat for a special treat. Yummy! What was your favourite bit about seeing how ice cream cones are made? Can you remember the name of the mixture used to make ice cream cones? Yes, it's called batter. Did you hear the sound the mixer made? And did you see the batter being squirted onto the hot plate? So the next time you go to a water park and you have a go on a water slide, you'll know how it works. And if you get to have an ice cream as a special treat afterwards, then you'll know how the cone was made and how it gets that lovely waffle pattern. This is very yummy and I'll see you next time.